I can't believe we're already in March. It feels like this year is flying by, and it's almost been a month since Rockstar officially confirmed Grand Theft Auto 6's development and that it was well underway. And now fans are just wondering, well, when are we going to get anything next from Rockstar? And it has the speculation growing and building, and it makes you wonder if this will be the month, because up until now, all it has been are rumors, leaks, speculation, information from insiders and journalists. Well, that's kind of what I want to talk about today because one of the big things about GTA 6 before Rockstar confirmed its existence was what its codename project was going to be, and that was Project Americas. And I would say if we were to rank the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks by what's the most verifiable and real, it kind of sounds like this is the one. So on the GTA forum site, Insider Tez Funds 2 was responding to someone that said this, if we consider the 2016 tech radar leak as real, Rockstar didn't even figure out what the next GTA's location would be at that time and was just beginning preliminary work. GTA Online was already bringing in copious amounts of money in 2016 through 17, so whatever they planned back then already had online in mind in some way of form. So I honestly don't get where the reboot rumors are coming from. With Tez Funds 2 saying, the America's piece of text within RDR2 files kind of disputes the tech radar leak. I just checked, and that piece of text was placed at the very end of the script stats file, as if there were would have been more stats listed below. Yes, it could refer to RDR2, but RDR2's code name was Project Remorse. If that piece of text was added in 2016 or 2017, then Rockstar would have already decided the next GTA's location by then. Also, I don't think added is the accurate term. There's a high chance the next GTA would have been in parallel development during the late stages of RDR2. Just like how RDR2 is based on GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 6 will develop and improve off RDR2's structure. All right, so the first thing I want to do is kind of dive into what that tech radar article might be because a lot of you guys might not know what that actually was. Uh, the tech radar article that came out in 2016 basically said Rockstar was close to making a Grand Theft Auto Tokyo game and that work has begun on Grand Theft Auto 6. I'll leave a link to that article in the description, but essentially it says, you know, Rockstar was working on Grand Theft Auto Tokyo, Grand Theft Auto Bogota, Colombia, Grand Theft Auto Sin City, which would be Las Venturas or Las Vegas and that they said they realized the difficulty of moving Grand Theft Auto outside of the United States, and that it has been working on Grand Theft Auto 6 since really 2012. So that's the background on that article. And what Test Funds 2 is saying is that Project America's piece of text placed within RDR2, which is not speculation, it's not a leak, it's literally something found in the official files of a Rockstar title, their latest one, it kind of disputes that tech radar leak. So the idea that they were working on a GTA Tokyo or a Sin City or a Bogota is probably old details. So it looks like Rockstar would have already decided GTA's location by then if that piece of text was added in 2016 or 2017. In fact, that's the first thing that Rockstar does is they decide how the map is going to work. And in order to decide how the map is going to work, they obviously have to know what city they're basing the whole thing off. So he says that GTA 6 would have been in parallel development during the late stages of RDR 2, and now it's probably full steam ahead. Now, as we all know, the map of any GTA game is quite possibly the most important element of the entire game. Because things like single player and online run on one singular map, it's really important for Rockstar to get this right because that is the entire baseline of the entire game. Now GTA 4 and GTA 5 both in my opinion have very good maps in their own respect, however with GTA 6 the stakes and expectations are higher than ever. Now the awesome thing with GTA 6 is that Rockstar has a brand new console generation to develop for. Now the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are both extremely powerful consoles and not only are they powerful but the storage in these consoles is also extremely quick which allows Rockstar to load more elements quicker than ever and making sure that they can keep the game going at full speed and frame rate. 
So Rockstar is planning to make a massive expansion to the GTA map in GTA 6, which I am really excited to talk about. Based on what we have been seeing so far, it seems like the map of GTA 6 will be around two times the size of GTA 5. Now this is also proven in a recent patent that was revealed by Rockstar for a certain technology which will be used in GTA Online. I talked about this in a bit more detail in one of my recent videos, but basically what Rockstar patented is a way to split the map of one online session into a number of individual sessions, so you're able to technically have around 100 people on one big map, and the way you're able to do that is by having separate sessions within a map, and then you can easily and fluidly transition between sessions as you go across the map. This is also good for reliability because if one session crashes, that doesn't mean that the entire map is going to crash because each session is technically their own. So you're pretty much merging multiple online sessions into one map, and the reason why they need this is because the map of GTA 6 is likely going to be significantly larger than GTA 5, and Rockstar wants to include more players in an online session, which is something people have been asking for in GTA 5, but Rockstar hasn't been able to do because the baseline code of GTA 5 and GTA Online is simply unable to support that at the moment. So not only is the map of GTA 6 likely going to be two times the size of GTA 5 and possibly even bigger, but it's also going to contain more elements like more buildings, more vegetation, and overall just a more dense and compact map because Rockstar has a lot more graphics power that they can play with with these new consoles. Since GTA 6 will be taking place in Vice City, which is Miami, Florida in real life, there are rumors that Rockstar will of course be including Miami, but also northern parts of Florida, including Orlando, and possibly a little bit further up north beyond that. Rumor has it that Rockstar will be adding an amusement park into the game similar to what Disney World is in real life, which honestly is a really awesome feature and I hope that they add it because that is going to be a pretty cool thing and a first for the GTA series. Now I actually just remembered that GTA 4 did actually have a roller coaster in the game which I believe was rideable, along with GTA 5 which of course has a roller coaster on the pier, but it seems like GTA 6 is going to have an entire theme park and not just one roller coaster which is certainly an improvement and something that I am looking forward to. Now it's worth noting that there have been a number of leaks so far with an alleged map of GTA 6, however none of these have been confirmed officially so far, however it is pretty common for maps of Rockstar games to leak early, way before the release of the game. In fact, the Red Dead Redemption 2 map leaked about two years before the game originally came out, and when it first leaked people thought it was fake, but at the end it actually turned out to be a legitimate leak. So it's very possible that these leaks online that depict an amusement park and a massive map could be real, but at the same time, things are still up in the air. In my opinion, the biggest design flaw of the GTA 5 map is that the entire northern part of the map, especially near Sandy Shores, does not have enough content within it. Now there are a couple of single player missions specifically surrounding Trevor that do involve the northern part of the map and Rockstar has been doing some stuff in online, however 90% of the gameplay takes place in Los Santos which is actually quite a small map compared to the entire one that we have in GTA 5. After the massive success of Grand Theft Auto 6, it's already highly anticipated game, anticipated game and its release date potentially more than two years away. Many fans have been talking about rumors for any news concerning Grand Theft Auto 6. Unfortunately for these fans, the news about the game has almost have mostly been confirmed by rumors and regardless fans of Take-Two Interactive. In the remo in rumors, they can find such a rumor that GTA 6 will receive a trailer this year. Rather, each is a new rumor and true or false remains to get 
to be confirmed by Rockstar Games, who has mostly silent about the game since the game was revealed. So right there that we just read, we know that there's been information talking about Rockstar Games that they said the new GTA title is in active development and it's well underway. Well, if according to Take-Two Interactive's earnings call, we could probably see the game in less than two years. And it looks like Rockstar Games is also going to be coming out with a trailer explaining what GTA 6 graphics is going to be, map hints, and a whole lot more. So like I said, this is a lot of information we're going to be breaking down today in this video. So that first part I want to break down. So fans have been waiting for GTA 6 for years and years and years. And we all know that GTA 6 is probably one of the fan favorite games because we've had GTA 5 for the longest time. And it still tends to, it still actually is one of the most popular games with all the online GTA 5 online updates that it's receiving like the contracts DLC received like 1 million people buying it in copies within worldwide so like I said GTA 5 is still very very popular and Rockstar might be taking that as an act of making more money with Take-Two Interactive because by bringing out all these certain updates so this is basically rumors and speculation in my opinion here um, but what I know so far is I think GTA 6 is just going to be a little while away yet, but GTA 5 is still making tons and tons of money. Now, in my honest opinion and speculation, if I think G if we stop spending so much money on GTA 5, I think we might have a chance to get GTA 6 early. You guys can let me know your opinions and more in the comments down below in that discussion below. But like I said, it just makes me wonder if, you know, if we stop playing GTA 5 or if we stop make, making Rockstar money, maybe they'll move to the next game, which we know GTA 6 is in active development, but we don't know how long it's been in development, like the working process. We don't know how long Rockstar is going to take. We don't know what rock, what point Rockstar's at. Like they have to add a whole city and a whole map yet probably. They still have to add graphics. I mean, it's going to take a long time to have GTA 6 made. So like I said, we're just kind of at the waiting process and just kind of like GTA 5 expanded enhanced. I know we're going to be getting that update first because that is confirmed to be coming out March 15th and there's been no trailer or no official release date or final trailer. Rockstar hasn't put that out. So hopefully players are still going to expect a trailer sometime this week, hopefully. 